Jules asked those guys at Turfcast to give our thoughts and opinions on how we think Burnley are going to do next season. Um, I think to start, I'm really excited for the new season. I think Scott Parker's arrival at first, I was a little bit disappointed. He's got quite a history of making promotion campaigns look difficult, even though he's been managing one of the better teams in the division in the championship. But I've got a feeling that we've got a decent enough squad so far. Um, we're predicted to be playing like a 4-3-3 with the defensive midfield. I know the Cadiz game has just finished. We just finished. We just drew 1-1. Um, I didn't see much about that game. I didn't even see the starting lineup. But I think we've got a lot of improvements that we need to make in individual areas. I don't think we've got a solid enough defensive midfielder that can play in that lone six role in front of the defence. We've got a lot of players linked to moves away. If Trafford leaves, I do like the idea of bringing in Etienne Green. I think he's a solid goalkeeper. I think Rodak's a great goalkeeper as well, if we can bring him in to either or. Rodak's probably available on the free, which I think is a good deal for us. Um, if we want to maintain that profit margin, we have to go for free signings, and that's why I'm a bit gutted that we missed out on Callum O'Hare. I mean, he scored a great goal the other day. Or I think it was a great assist. He got a great assist for Sheffield the other day in pre-season. Sheffield are looking pretty good. Uh, Leeds are looking okay as well, and that's going to be our main competition going into next season. Um, I think we'll probably finish second or third, but it just depends on whether we hit the ground running. I think Colio shows in for a really big season. I think he's fit, he's back from injury and he's, he can easily run the championship and I think now with Somerville uh, Somerville leaving, we leaving Leeds for West Ham I think that opened up a spot for uh, Coley Osho to be one of the best wingers in the division I hope that Odebert stays I think he's he could be great in the championship but there is links with him leaving uh, same with Amdouni, he might leave Sanderberg, he might leave recently Estev might be leaving as well so it's just I think some of our better players are on the way out and I understand we've not got the pull of a Premier League team anymore but I think with our owners and operating in the profit margin that we are I think with the everything that we've done to update the club I think for players specifically we're definitely in a better position to bring players in in a championship campaign preparing again for another season in the Premier League next season and hopefully survive or whether Scott Parker's the guy to do that I'm not 100% sure I think it's going to take some time to properly gel the squad and I think there's going to still be a lot more changes I know the season starts very soon but there's still going to be a lot more changes after that Luton game maybe even after the the derby at the end of August but I think we've got a lot to look forward to. I think our young players are going to have the ability to shine next season. I'm unsure on the players we've brought in so far. Haladki is a good goalkeeper, but he was probably Ipswich's only weak point last season. I think him playing out from the back is poor, but again, I don't think uh, Parker as a coach puts pressure on the goalkeepers to play like that. So luckily... He might just be there to save shots and like I said earlier, if Trafford leaves, we may bring in a new number one. But I think we should give Trafford a chance. I think it's probably more his level compared to the the Premier League. The Premier League, he just looked out of his comfort zone and I was really disappointed that we let Murich go. I understand the his grievances with not really playing many minutes last season, but that wasn't on the club. That was on company choosing not to play him. Um, I think Lyle Foster has another decent season ahead of him as long as he can be consistent. He obviously scored today, so that's a promising sign. Mike Tressel is a weird one because I think at the Championship, if he could play in some sort of a number 10 role, I think that would be absolutely excellent. I think he's got a really good eye for pass and watching him play in the Belgian League, I mean, mostly through highlights and the odd game here or there, like Champions League level or Europa League, he's really good at finding a teammate and if we've got runners like Odebert, like Coley Osho, like Amdouni, like Foster getting in behind, I think we could create a lot of chances and I think we could really unlock him and then 
potentially create a profit margin for him to be sold on in the future if we don't get promotion a similar way to how Leeds have operated like after missing out for promotion and selling some of their better players. I think Leeds will probably win the league this season though. I think they've got the best squad in the division for sure. Uh, Joel Perot is a great player. Um, oh, well, I can't remember his name. Ruta, Geronimo Ruta is a good player as well. Uh, I think we're in a good, with a good chance. Sambo, I have rate that signing. I think that's really good. That's good business. Pires is unproven. I mean, he was unproven in Spain. He scored, even though he's a left back, he only scored one goal last season and barely played 50% of the minutes. I just think we could probably do, do we bring in a proven goal scorer at championship level. We should probably bring in potentially another central midfielder. Definitely bring in a defensive midfielder. I think if we do sell the centre back, it's key we bring another one in. I don't like Alder Keel. I just don't think he's good enough. O'Shea is good, but I prefer Bayer. I prefer Estev or Esteve. Uh, and I think a goalkeeper is probably another shout. Definitely a new number one. But I think we'll probably have the edge over Sheffield United. I think the squad's had probably similar similar amount of time to. Sheffield to gel but I think we've just got the better quality in terms of technical ability and in terms of output I think we could we have the ability to be more consistent than Sheffield do and I think that's going to help us achieve second place so yeah up the clarets I hope we do well this season